We're only going to talk about one problem here in the second half of rational expressions. Your community is building a park. It wants to fence in a play space for toddlers. It wants the maximum area for a given amount of fencing. Which shape, a square or a circle, provides a more efficient use of fencing? Well, to find a measure of efficiency, one way of doing it is to compare the area fenced with the fencing used. In other words, we want to know area over perimeter. So let's compare these two shapes. For a square, the area of a square you know, it works like a rectangle. It's like length times width. But because all the sides of a square are of the same length, we call all the sides sides. So we say that the area is side squared. And the perimeter for an area, since all the sides have the same length, we're going to call the sides S. You add S plus S plus S plus S. It's 4S. For a circle, the area of a circle is pi R squared. And the perimeter of a circle is the same as finding the circumference. And the circumference is 2 pi r. Well, I'm going to simplify both of these expressions. This one simplifies to s over 4, and this one simplifies to r over 2. Now, here's the thing. So one of the formulas has s for side. One of them has r for uh, radius. So I need to rewrite fractions that have the same variables. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the fact that the perimeter of a square was 4s. And I'm going to solve that for s. And I'm going to get p divided by 4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into this expression. I'm going to substitute. So I get p over 4 over 4 which is the same as p over 4 times the reciprocal of 4 is 1 over 4, which gives me p over 16. Now let's go back and look at the circle. The circumference of a circle is the same as finding the perimeter. We just have a special name for it, and it was 2 pi r. I'm going to solve that equation for r. It's going to be p over 2 pi. I'm going to go substitute that expression into that, that expression in place of r. So I'm going to get p over 2 pi all over 2. That's the same as p over 2 pi times the reciprocal of 2. And I get p over 4 pi. And the question is, which of these two expressions is greater? Which one has the greater ratio? That's going to give me the maximum efficiency. Well, the question is, how do I figure out which fraction is greater if I don't know what p is? Well. The way that it works is the greater fraction, oops, let's make this look a little bit nicer. The greater fraction has the smaller denominator. How do I know that? Well, let's do a for example. Which one's bigger, one half or one fourth? If you think about it in terms of a pie, you know, here's one half and here's one fourth. One half is greater than one fourth, isn't it? Wait a second, one half has the smaller denominator. So, how do I figure out which one's the smaller denominator? Well, if you multiply four times pi, four times 3.14 is going to be 12 point something. 12 is smaller than 16. Therefore, the circle will have the maximum efficiency, or will have more efficiency than the square when I'm building this play lot. So, there is a problem like this in the homework. In order to do the more efficient use of whatever it is they're trying to do, you're going to need to find some formulas. I believe that in this problem, I'm going to have to look at this real fast, you are going to need to find the formula for um, 
a key, the area and the surface area, or and I'm sorry, not the area, but the surface area of a uh, cube and the surface area for a sphere. And they actually give you the formula for the surface area of a sphere, but not the one for a cube. And then, so you'll look it up on the internet. And then, I guess if you need you need the surface area, probably you need the regular area. I'll have to look that up. I'll put it on the assignment guide as to exactly what you need to find. But you'll need to look up some information on the internet yourself.